What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial. Today you will learn how to use the Physics 2D material. Using the Physics 2D material, you can add friction and bounciness to an object. For this example, we are going to use a sphere. Um, yeah, let's begin. Uh, over here, I have already created a background and I've created ground this is just a it's, it's just a quad with uh, a box collider attached to it and black color material that's it I just needed something something for the ball to land on so now I'm going to create the ball unfortunately um, I haven't found a circle over here I, I just found sphere which is a 3d object but it works in 2D space as well. So we are going to use a sphere. I, I have already created uh, a material for the ball just to give it color so it's visible and now I'm going to remove the sphere collider and add a circle collider to it and a rigid body 2D component. Now in order to show you the friction working, the friction actually being applied, uh, I have to click on fixed angle because otherwise when I apply force to this to the sphere, then the sphere is actually going to roll and then the friction, is, it, it, it just doesn't take effect. So I, I'm not really sure if, if I'm able to explain this well, but yeah, this is this is the way how I've gotten friction to work. So now let's create a move script. Okay, we'll start by creating a variable for uh, the speed of the ball. I'm going to create another variable that we will use a little bit later. This is for how high the ball can jump. I don't need to explain to you why uh, I've used, well anyways, I'll tell you. The uh, adding, using public before creating the variable, uh, using that you'll be able to, sorry that came out wrong. When you use public, you will be able to change the value of your variable from the inspector panel in, in Unity. Okay, now I'm going to create a float type variable called h and this is a, a different method of moving the ball it's it's actually more simpler than using uh, input dot get key down or at least that's what i feel i'll try and explain this to you i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it well or not but uh, when you use input dot get access um, I checked on the Unity website and it says uh, get access returns the value of the virtual access identified by access name. Uh, access name is the whatever name I'm specifying over here. The name can be horizontal or vertical. So and and this value can only be within the range of minus one and plus one or well, just one. So say I press right the value is going to start from 0 and keep increasing until 1 it won't go any further than 1 if I press left the value will decrease from 0 it'll go it'll keep going in, in a minus value in, in a negative value until it reaches negative 1 so that will be negative 0 0.1 negative 0 0.2 etc and so that's that's how this works again I don't know if I explained it very well but just just use it you'll uh, you'll find out that this is more simpler than using input dot get key down next we are going to use rigid body 2d dot add force and vector 2 dot write into H now 
I'm going to explain this as well. Actually, no, this this will be a little complicated. But using vector two dot right is the the best way. If you use vector two dot left, then your object will. Uh, l let's say if you if you press right, the object might go left, and if you press left, the object might go right, or you might get some more undesirable effects. Uh, so it's better to use vector two dot right. I would be happy to explain this to anyone who wants to know about it, but in the comments, because if I try to explain it here, I need to explain the calculation, and many people might not get that, and that'll make the video quite long. So let's continue. Uh, vector two dot right pretty much means uh, one on the x-axis. Vector two dot left means minus one on the x-axis. So uh, since we are using vector two dot right, uh, it's going to be one into h. The value of h would be if I have pressed right, it would be uh, one. That is positive one into move speed. Move speed, for example, if I've kept it 20, then 1 into 20 would be 20, and so the value of h will be 20. And that value is going to be multiplied with vector 2 dot right, so uh, the value of x would be 20. Oh, my bad. I went into the calculation again. Let's, let's just continue. So, I've used rigid body 2D dot add force and now I'm going to save the script and let's see if this works. Oh, before that I should add 20 over here. Okay. You can see the ball is moving. Oops, fell off the screen. Yeah, so you can see that the ball is moving. Now we are going to apply a physics 2D material to it to give it some friction. Let's call this ball underscore phi for physics. And this has to be applied to the collider of the object. Now before I run the game, I should set the friction to, you know what, I'll set it to zero and show you what happens. And then I'll set it to one and show you what happens and then at three. You'll see the difference then. Okay, you saw that. Now let's change, change the value to one. Well, there's very little difference over here. Maybe you might see the difference at 3. There. See? The ball doesn't continue to slip. It actually stops. Let's see what happens when I make it 5. Let's try 10. I don't know what the maximum friction is, but you can see it's, it's struggling to move. It takes a lot of time for the ball to catch speed, and even then, it stops very easily. So that's how you can add friction to a given object. Now I will teach you about bounciness. How to make the ball bounce. Now notice what happens when I press play. The ball just falls and stops over there. Now I think the value of bounciness can only be, yep, it can only be a value between 0 and 1. So I'm going to set this to 0 0.4. Watch what happens now. 
Saw that small bounce over there. Now I'll change it to 0 0.8. Now watch what happens. Doesn't it look like a real ball now? Wow, that was... <laughs> oops. Okay, so you can see how bounciness affects the ball. Um, if I make this 1, that's the maximum and the ball is going to be, it's, it's going to have a lot of bounciness in it. I'm not sure if it actually stops bouncing or not. I'm not that patient, but you can go ahead and give it a try if, if you'd like to wait. Um, yeah, I, I think that's that's about it. So this is the physics 2D material and this is how you use it. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.